Lem literally means blue. But the river in the flood season turns red. Because of alluvial deposits. After traveling for nearly three hours, we reach the town of Kanquang. The town is small but more crowded than we expected. We plan to stay here at the end of our journey. We pass many villages of local ethnic people to reach the commune center where we will start our walk to the waterfall. We see clusters of green bamboos, villages, and small fields surrounded by streams. Truly simple beauty. The path leading to Kim Waterfall is not challenging. It is at the side of Pumat National Park. The sun climbs higher in the sky. And we reach the destination as planned thanks to Hay's help. Many young people come here for their weekend picnic. Youngsters often know much about wild places like this. People kill chickens in such a special way. As the stall owner tells us, they do not cut the chicken's throat, but drown it in the stream. The chicken will taste better if killed that way. People put seasoning inside a chicken and this takes a lot of time. We really want to see how local people kill a chicken for food. But the cool waterfall seems to lure us. We decide to go to the waterfall. Khe Kem Waterfall is about 200 meters away from here. It looks like a thin strip of silk in the green of Fumat National Park. The temperature of 35 degrees Celsius of the central region seems to be absent here. Water of the waterfall comes down from high mountains in Fumat. It's said that hundreds of flowers can be found on the top and along the waterfall. Tourists seem to get lost in the flower forest here. We are advised against climbing up the waterfall because it rained heavily this morning and the rock up there is so slippery. There are also many forest leeches we do not bring necessary climbing equipment. What a pity. The temperature out there is always above 30 degrees Celsius. But here, it's just 20 degrees Celsius. So, this is a nice place for a summer retreat in here. Bathing is the best way to enjoy the coolness of the water. We enjoy the fresh air and have our body massaged by strong dew jets. How amazing! We bring the firewood, the chicken, some potatoes, some ears of corn, and the two knives with us. Our 
Our destination is White Rock area by the stream. Diane and I grill some ears of corn and potatoes grilling the chicken, while Hay is grilling the chicken. Seems that the chicken was grilled for too long. But it still looks good as we are hungry. Beer soaked in cool water, bamboo glasses, grilled chicken. It's one of the best meals that we have ever had. He puts out the fire. We learn many things from enthusiastic local people. After journeys to the forest like this, 